There was something that was that had been happening historically in the HEB school district uh, for years. Bell Helicopter had been giving um, an organization, not the school district, but a separate organization called Santa USA, uh, the use of uh, some of their helicopters, and they flew Santa around to every elementary school um, in the school district. When we saw Night of Hope begin to unfold, um, the predecessors to that was a ministry in the church where we brought people from kids to beach clubs uh, that were after school Bible programs. Uh, we would invite them to the church for a night. The gifts were given and they were presented to uh, the kids by the parents here at the church. We brought all the parents in and shared the message of Christ with them here. Well, when Scott went to Six Stones uh, from First Julius, he began to pitch the idea that perhaps there's an open door for us to actually go to the schools. Santa USA had broken the ice. The community could come into the schools and, the, and they could craft and fashion something that would be acceptable to people of different faiths and, and uh, religious backgrounds. We started out, we were helping three elementary schools, a total of 200 kids, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure every year Bel Air by itself has well in excess of 200 kids that we're, we're helping. So I was getting it from Scott on this side and I was getting it from Dr. B on this side, and, and being on the board and being a local pastor, it, it just, it, it all came together. But they, they always were seeking input and, and, and wanted to know what we thought and, and, and continued to dream with us, but man, we're just trying, we're just trying to keep up. That first year was let's, you know, let's try it with these three schools, let's work the kinks out of it and then we'll continue to grow it. There was a lot of uh, brainstorming, you know, just due to confidentiality. I mean, some of these, some of the people buying for the kids could have been their neighbors. So there was, a, there was a lot more to it than I think we thought about before we said, yeah, let's do that. There is a greater understanding today than there was 10 years ago as to what are the needs of these families um, and what works and what doesn't work. I would say most of the families I deal with are working families. They're just not making enough to provide for everything their families need. For them to make a little wish list and actually get something on that wish list, it's a big deal. It is one of the greatest moments, privileges and honors I have every year to stand before that large group of parents and tell them that we love them, we love their kids, but more than that, being able to tell them the greatest story ever told. And we see lives changed every year. They're thrilled, but they also leave knowing all that God has provided for us through Jesus Christ. It's one of the best nights of my life.